Welcome to Tally Prime videos. In this video, we will look at the steps to enable TCS in Tally Prime and configure nature of goods for different nature of goods on which TCS is applicable. We will also look at the provisions made in Tally Prime to handle the sale of any goods introduced in the finance budget 2021. Tax collected at source or TCS is what a seller collects from his buyer for selling specific nature of goods, for example, timber, scrap, tendu leaves, and few others. However, with introduction of sale of any goods in budget 2021, the TCS provisions is amended to widen and deepen its tax base. The TCS feature in Tally Prime allows you to efficiently meet the compliance requirements of TCS. Its implementation is simple, covers all nature of goods of TCS, enables tax calculation at different applicable rates and also enables you to choose tax calculation on accurate or realization methods. To start implementing TCS, you have to enable the feature. Press Alt K and select features from the company menu. In the company features alteration screen, set the option enable tax collected at source to yes. The TCS collector detail screen is displayed. Enter the TAN registration number and TAN. Select the collector type and enter the collector branch details. You can provide details of person responsible for tax collection in your company. Press Ctrl A to accept and save the information. Once TCS is enabled, you can start creating TCS related details. The different items on which TCS is applicable are called nature of goods. You can create nature of goods in Tally Prime for the TCS applicable goods you deal with. Go to Create in Gateway of Tally and select TCS nature of goods under Statutory Masters. Enter the name of nature of goods. You can use the helper button to select the predefined nature of goods names. You will find TCS section and subsection against each name. You can enter the with or without PAN tax rates for an individual or other collectee types. In case if you wish to calculate tax on realization, that is on receipt basis, for this nature of goods, you can set the option tax calculation based on realization to yes. This is provision made to support sale of any goods. Further. If tax is applicable for this nature only after exceeding a certain limit, you can set the limit in the threshold exemption limit field. If the limit is specified, then the field calculate tax on value exceeding exemption limit is displayed. You need to set this to yes to calculate tax on over and above exemption limit. To calculate tax from rupee 1, you can set this option to no. Press Ctrl A to save. Once defined, you can use the nature of goods in other masters such as sales ledger, party ledger, stock item, tax ledger and so on. There will be no need to define the tax details again in those masters. In earlier release, you had to define nature of goods both in sales ledger and stock items in order for the tax to be calculated in sales invoice. Now, it is sufficient to define the nature of goods in any one master and tax will be calculated based on the details in that master. As we just witnessed, enabling TCS in Tally Prime is very simple and implementing different calculation scenarios for various nature of goods under TCS is also made easy in Tally Prime. Thank you.